Hello future engineers! I am Clovis Piamonte from Mar E31 B2 and today I'm going to show you the construction of a two-stroke diesel engine and also I will explain its working principle. So what's interesting about this video is that the materials that I'm going to use is a recyclable materials that is very easy to find in our homes. So let's go! One eternity later. Finally, I'm done with my DYI two-stroke engine. But before I explain its working principle, let me introduce its basic component first. The basic components of the two-stroke diesel engine is the crankshaft, connecting rod, and the piston. This is the crankshaft. The crankshaft in a two-stroke engine rotates, moving the piston by means of the connecting rod. This one is the connecting rod. The connecting rod is connected to the crankshaft at one end and to the piston at the other. It translates the movement of the crankshaft so that the piston is moved up and down. And this one is the piston. The piston is moved up and down inside the cylinder by the crankshaft which is connected to it via the connecting rod. As the start of air intake, the piston is moving towards bottom dead center at the end of power impulse. The piston uncovers the inlet ports and the blower delivers fresh air into the cylinder. The exhaust valves open, then the piston reaches bottom dead center and starts its move upward. Incoming air scavenges gases out of the cylinder. The piston continues up covers the inlet port and cuts off the air supply from the blower. The exhaust valve closes, the piston approaches top dead center, compressing the air and rising its temperature. Just before the piston reaches top dead center, the injector spray fuel. The heat of the compressor air ignites the fuel. Pressure from the expanding gases forces the piston down the cylinder in the power impulse. Before the piston reaches the bottom dead center, the exhaust valve opens and burn gases escape. The inlet port is uncovered and it admits fresh air from the blower. The piston reaches bottom dead center. The cycle is ready to repeat itself. In two strokes, one crankshaft cycle is equal to one revolution. <laughs> 